Welcome to FNAF News, I'm your host, the TNT Muffin, and today we're going to be talking about this. By the way, this is not the only thing that we're going to be talking about today. I do have more news at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But, first of all, we are going to be talking about this. For those of you that don't know, the ninth book of the Fazbear Frights books is going to be called The Puppet Carver. I made a video before talking about the cover that was revealed. You can see that there are the three puppets. There's the one that's probably Chica, because the yellow hair. The one that's probably Bonnie, because the red bow tie. And the one that is probably Freddy, because of the brown hair and black bow tie. One thing I didn't notice before is that he also has a black top hat on. But, you know, we already talked about that stuff before. That's not what we're talking about right now. What we are talking about is that there is a new exclusive cover for the book. This is a very strange thing I would have never expected for the ninth Fazbear Frights book, The Puppet Carver, to get an exclusive cover. Uh, we haven't had any exclusive covers for any of the books so far, I'm pretty sure. This is a very strange thing to happen. The only thing that we've had, as far as I know, of a different cover is the Silver Eyes, the cover changed. So it is really weird that nine books in the Fazbear Fright series we get an exclusive cover. Uh, if you're wondering, this is for Books A Million, so that store I've never heard of. Uh, I don't know if it's because I don't like books or if it's because I don't have one where I live. But yeah, never heard of it. Maybe you guys have it where you live. The book isn't out yet, so don't go over there and try to get the cover. When it does come out, I'm sure you can go to the store and go get it. I think there is a pre-order as well. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description. If you're wondering if this has any like significance, like does this mean this book is super important or there's going to be some extra stuff in it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I think it is just a random exclusive cover. Just different cover. I don't think anything in the inside of the book will be different. I'm pretty sure it is just the cover. Exclusive FNAF merch is usually rare. Like if you look at the mystery minis, some of the exclusive stuff gets so crazy in prices. This thing though, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's going to be that rare because there have been stuff like this before. Like the FNAF Monopoly game, there was a GameStop exclusive like box for it with the box art with the twisted ones. It didn't seem like many people really cared that much. Like, yeah, I don't think that's a rare thing that people want to get. Also, the Silver Eyes book, it had a, an original cover before, and then it eventually changed, but again, it doesn't seem like too many people are too crazy about getting the original cover. So, I'm not sure if books can get that rare. I guess it's possible, I just don't really see it happening. If you're wondering why there's an exclusive cover, I'm pretty sure it's just because they wanted to get more sales, because they've probably noticed that the Fazbear Frights books have probably been selling pretty well, and maybe there weren't a lot of people buying it from them, so they were probably thinking, hey, if we get an exclusive cover, I bet a bunch of other people will come to our store and buy it from us. I'm pretty sure that's what they were thinking. I can't really think of any other reason besides that. I'm probably at a different angle right now, but that is because I just found out that there is going to be another state of play. I just want to say that this is not going to be any Five Nights at Freddy's related. I'm 90% sure it's not going to be anything Five Nights at Freddy's related. I mean, there's nothing that has happened to like deconfirm it. No one said anything. But I'm just pretty sure, uh, mostly because Scott Cawthon did say that the gameplay trailer will be coming in March. And it would be sort of strange for them to have, like, two trailers, like, come one after another. Uh, I mean, it's possible, since he did specify gameplay trailer, that it could be a regular one that's not gameplay. But it's not gonna be. I mean, it's just not. It's, I guess it's possible, but it's not gonna happen. If anything does happen, cool. Uh, that would be great if something does happen. But it's probably not gonna happen, so don't get your hopes up, alright? Alright, now on to the extra bonus news, you know, music change time we have some other news. So basically, what's been happening is I have been checking Amazon.com and GameStop.com every day to see if they have any new restocks, because they have been restocking stuff recently, so I've been checking. And actually, on Amazon, uh, before I was talking about how the very rare parts and service set got restocked on Amazon for $16, but now the toy show stage set has been restocked on Amazon. It was already on the website before, but it was a lot more expensive. Now it's only $33 plus free shipping, so if you want to go and get that set and get it now on Amazon, this is a little bit more expensive than the original price it was, I believe, but I don't see it getting any lower than this. I also want to mention, even though this set is, like, rare, and I think it was even cheaper than this when it first came out, it's still cheaper than the deluxe concert stage from the Pizzeria Simulator wave, which is strange, <laughs> you know, like, 
it seems like this set is a little bigger than that one too, so it's kind of strange that it's cheaper, especially since it's rare, so that's, you know, it's really weird. By the way, Amazon isn't the only thing that restocked stuff recently, like I said, GameStop, I've been checking the website every day as well, and it's gotten some new stuff restocked as well. So first of all, the majority of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator plushies have been restocked, so you can go get those if you want to. It's weird that they're restocking these for pre-order, since it, they were out not too long ago. It is kind of strange that they're already restocking them, maybe they sold well, I'm not too sure. Another thing is that a lot of the Blacklight plushies got restocked, the only one that didn't get restocked is the Blacklight Cupcake. Also the Jumbos didn't get restocked, it's just most of the regular ones, but not the Cupcake, sadly. And there's also the Funtime Foxy plush, which was restocked, but the weird thing about this one is it's labeled as the sister location Funtime Foxy which you can clearly look at it, and it's clearly not the central location one. You can tell it's definitely the FNAF 2 or FNAF World Funtime Foxy. You know, the mangle before it got all mangled. Probably just a typo. I, I'm not sure why they messed that up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Cause like I said, I've been checking GameStop and Amazon.com every day to make sure and see if they restocked anything new. And if they ever do restock anything else, I'll make sure to let you know in the next news video. And if you do want to subscribe, click the button on top of my head. Make sure you go watch my soda video. Me and my brother worked pretty hard on it and I think you'll like it. So click that button over there to go watch that. And if you want to see some other video I made, click that button over there and I'll see you if anything else gets restocked.